Did Jake Paul find love? No, like, actually, with someone he is really compatible with. It's amazing, you know, when, when you find uh, your person and your best friend. Welcome to Celeb Astrology, where we analyze celebrities and their astrology. Today, we are going to be assessing the relationship love compatibility between Jake Paul and his girlfriend, Julia Rose, to see what the stars have to say about these stars. But first, I am so very excited to announce that my course is finally here. If you want to learn more about the zodiac signs and understand them as part of an evolution, then please visit my newly redesigned website, celebstrology.com. Now back to the video. So sometimes when we look at celebrities' astrology charts, we find them to be more complex and multifaceted than they seem at first glance. We find that people are not that simple. But Jake's astrology chart is really intense and super duper streamlined. Everything you thought you knew about him, multiply by a hundred, maybe even a thousand. His astrology is extreme. And so is Julia's. They are both Capricorns and like super Capricorns. They both have Mercury in Capricorn, Venus in Capricorn, and Neptune in Capricorn. I usually don't talk about this many planets, but just to prove a point, Jake's Jupiter is in Capricorn and so is Julia's Uranus. Oh yeah, and her Mars is in Capricorn too. So let's talk about Capricorn, shall we? Capricorn is all about reputation. It wants to be the very best and show off its skills. Unlike Virgo, which is a humble worker, Capricorn wants status. In my course on the evolution of the zodiac signs, I talk about how every sign is aged and represents a different part of life. Aries is the youngest sign and Pisces is the oldest. Capricorn is one of the more senior signs. It is when we start to think about how we will be remembered. We want our name to matter. And even though Jake Paul is known for goofing around, he actually takes himself really seriously. Look at this quote from fellow Capricorn Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon. A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. See what I mean? Taken to the extreme, this sign is all about status and reputation. Jake and Julia probably take themselves very, very seriously. They want to be important, and they probably do love a relationship that gives them clout. Two super Capricorns most likely gives them a sense of elitism. They think they are better than everyone else. But to be fair, Capricorn is not lazy. It is symbolized by a mountain goat climbing from peak to peak, always ready to reach the top. This couple is entrepreneurial and ambitious. They want to be the best and are willing to put in the effort. This sign is not afraid of hard work. Jake may come across as lazier than he actually is. Both his rising sign and moon sign are in Taurus, which likes to chill. Taurus moves slowly, preferring to take its time. He has a couch potato side to him. But Taurus and Capricorn both thrive in the world of results. They are earth signs and therefore like success that is measurable. It is no surprise that he is obsessed with money and financial gain. His moon and rising in Taurus find security in financial success, and his Capricorn planets find self-worth. I should mention that he is also quite capable of commitment with a chart like his. That moon in Taurus is not afraid of putting a ring on it, and his Mars is in Libra, which means he works best in partnerships. He needs people to get from point A to point B. He actually functions quite well in a relationship. And he may have a hidden caring side, at least a little bit. But her Mars is in Capricorn, so Julia is all business. This couple is like status seeking on overdrive, but one is more of a clout chaser than the other. And the answer is Julia. Julia Rose has a moon in Leo, which is not great with Jake's moon in Taurus. Jake is genuinely looking to settle down. He's actually pretty good at commitment when he really wants it, and it can bring out the best in him. He thrives in stability. Her moon is in Leo, which is all about attention and creativity. She wants to be the star of the show, admired and adored. Jake probably wants to relax behind closed doors. Her astrology chart is always on. It's like never turning the camera off. His chart is pretty laid back and drama free at the end of the day and she's got that feisty side to her. It's possible this creates a little spice and tension. 
Sometimes you don't want all your planets to be perfectly compatible, since there is no room for growth. But I wonder if this couple would have some drama for the sake of drama. Since they are both the same Capricorn zodiac sign, they're not really pushing each other. They're not helping each other evolve internally or become better people. However, they probably feel so natural and comfortable, that together it is unreal. They're like almost the same person in terms of their priorities. Julia's more hot-headed though. I think this relationship ultimately has built-in fragility. The functionality of their relationship is completely dependent on them being validated by other people. Basically, if they weren't successful, this wouldn't work. Really strongly expressed Capricorn also risks believing that the ends justify the means. I worry that's where this couple could get dangerous. Success at all costs. They have everything it takes to be a power couple that rules the world. And with such astrology charts like these, they'll probably try. It's going to be tough though to give the relationship the attention it deserves because both these horoscopes can be quite selfish. Neither person wants to sacrifice anything for a career. Jake and Julia probably have enormous respect for one another and can't believe they found someone who sees exactly eye to eye. But similarity isn't necessarily the same as compatibility. They recognize each other, they see each other, but they aren't helping the other person grow. Unless maybe in their entrepreneurial endeavors, but they probably could do that on their own. These are two very high achievers who will stop at nothing to get to the top. And Capricorn is never satisfied either. It is always looking for the next mountain to climb. Neither of them have any personal planets in water signs. Jake doesn't even have a water sign in his chart. That is a total absence of sensitivity. There were so many videos questioning if he is a sociopath. It's just that his astrology chart is missing being in touch with feelings. Again, he has no water signs at all. In astrology, water signs indicate emotion, and his emotional nature is severely underdeveloped. Julia has a Jupiter in Scorpio, but that's about it. Maybe she can beat him at his own game. Both of these people clearly want the upper hand, but especially her. She actually has more ego than him. Usually we see relationships seek to balance each other out or compliment. Sometimes they even clash, but this one is unique. They are taking their best skills and putting them into overdrive. Jake and Julia are so similar. They're power hungry, driven, hardworking, and ambitious. It's almost like they've met their match. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching Celeb Astrology, where we analyze celebrities and their astrology. Remember to enroll in my course at my website, celebstrology.com, and please like and subscribe to this video. It really helps the channel grow.